What's up folks, Liquid here. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Demon Slayer and specifically what would happen if Tengen Izui replaced Kyojiro on the moving train. Also, just wanted to state that these are just my opinions and if you disagree, well then fuck you. <laughs> just kidding. So first I'm going to talk about the beginning of the arc, but the real question is how would Tengen have done against Okamon 3 Akaza? <laughs> All right, let's talk about the moving train. It begins with the conductor stamping the ticket to the demon slayers, which have that sleep blood demon art attached to it. I guess you can just say it's a spell or whatever. Um, so in my opinion, this can go two ways. Tengen immediately using his enhanced hearing to tell something's going on on the train. Could, because you have to remember that they're specifically riding that train because of people going missing, which is most likely due to a demon, which would make them all be on guard. This should allow them to know exactly where Inu's body is because it its massive size and the constant movement that it's doing. He would probably immediately go to that spot where the main body is and possibly just slice the neck up. Okay, real quick. I want to talk about the difference in powering speed between a lower moon and a Hashira. Because the big issue here is Inmu and his uh, sleep spamming ability with his uh, eyes. So Tengen should be relative to Rengoku in terms of speed and power. So I don't think you will have a problem one-shotting Inmu here. I also think it's stated that Tengen is the fastest Hashira in base. Um, so no total concentration uh, breathing or speed out from their uh, sword forms. Also, he was able to completely speed blitz and cut off Daki's head before she was even able to notice. I know she isn't the strongest demon and she isn't the true open moon six by herself, but seeing as long as she's lived and how many humans and how much of Muzin's blood she's consumed, a reasonable conclusion is that she should be stronger, if not much stronger than Emu here. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's pretty much confirmed that any Hashira or if you want to call him Pillar, should be able to completely destroy any lower moon, though Emu could be a special case because he did get the blood of the rest of the lower moons. Another point I wanted to make is uh, Emu has a conversation with the conductor and the kids right before the Demon Slayers fall asleep. There is no way with his enhancing hearing ability, Izui doesn't hear them and immediately set off alarms for them not to fall asleep. Even if they did fall on the spell, I think the scenario will likely play out the same with Tengen having the same kind of strong spiritual core as Kyojiro and then Nezuko eventually waking them all up. All right, next up is the main event. And really, the big question here is could Tengen defeat Akaza? In short, hell no. A better question is could he survive? I say yes and no. In the exact same scenario with Tanjiro injured and unable to move, Tengen can die if he's in character. But he has a higher chance of surviving than Kyojiro, in my opinion. I say this simply because of their fighting styles. If you go over how he fought Open Moon 6, he did not fight him in a head-on sword fight. He deployed multiple attacks that gave him an advantage over a demon that was physically stronger than he was, such as the kunais, which can weaken demons with their wisteria coating, and the ninja bombs, which causes explosions as well as cause uh, possible distractions. I'll say this, in character because of how Akaza is and that he really loves to fight and really wants a good fight, he will allow himself to tank one of those kunais to get weakened. Um, you can say one of his Kanochi deployed the kunais, fine, but there's no way he doesn't have one in his inventory. There's also the possibility that they would be there in general. Ninjas don't fight fair. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about how I think this fight will really go down. The Demon Slayers wouldn't have any injuries because the enemy would have been taken care of before things got out of hand. The issue with the Demon Slayers here is when Kyojiro fought Akaza, they could not keep up with the battle, so they were more or less useless. I don't honestly think that Tengen would let them join the fight for this very reason. Now for Akaza. In character, Akaza wants a 1v1 and to have the most intense battle as possible. This is shown by his attempt at getting rid of Tanjiro as soon as the uh, fight with Rengoku uh, started so that he isn't distracted. So without spoiling the manga too much, his compass needle is a personification of that ability. The strength comparison with Tengen and Kyojiro is irrelevant because they should be relative to each other if we go by the manga's measurement of strength. 
Ultimately, the answer to survival will be how fast Tengen determines they need to escape. If it's early before he takes critical damage, you could stick with sticking with the kunai, like I said earlier. Uh, gather everybody up and just dip out. If he's determined to take him down, he will likely take critical damage or die. I also want to add in that the clock is in the, in the Demon Slayer's favor because assuming the Rengoku battle wasn't too long because Sunrise came like right as soon as he, uh, well, before he died, really. So my assumption is the battle took about 15 minutes. And if you go by the manga, um, I think the fight took about two chapters. Also going with how I think this will go down, um, assuming he gets the 1v1 and his Konochi are there. I think they would definitely be able to assist him in uh, escaping with the Demon Slayers. They could like drop more kunai spam or whatever, uh, drop bombs, see if that'll help and then uh, just get out of there. Anyway, in conclusion, like I said, survival is very possible if the plan is to escape, but uh, if he wants to fight, it's gonna be uh, critical damage slash uh, death. And uh, in character, him being a ninja, I really don't think that's too far-fetched for uh, them to be uh, dipping out on him. Anyway, um, also I wanted to say out of character, he could just hit him with a kunai and ditch everybody and then, you know, escape himself. <laughs> but I doubt he'll do that. But that would probably be like almost like a 90% or probably close to 100% success rate. And thanks so much for watching. And I know this is a little bit different from my normal content, but it's anime related at least. I do still plan on doing Gunpla videos. I'll probably do um, some analysis of like Gundam stuff since I've seen like every Gundam series. I might as well do it anyway. Uh, I just want to try and do something a little bit different and also something that can do a little bit more uh, consistent content because these don't take as long to uh, get a push out, I should say. And again, thanks for watching and then go ahead and sub up if you're new and uh, yeah, see you on the next video.